You're watching WMAR 2 News. One man is dead after a fire earlier this morning in Baltimore City. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. The fire happened at a row home on Harford Road between Northern Parkway and Taylor Avenue, so northeast Baltimore. Started around 530 this morning when crews got there. They found the body of that man on the second floor of this home. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The fire did spread to the roof of the home next door. No one in that home was hurt. Investigators do not know what started that fire in northeast Baltimore this morning. Another ATM has been stolen from a convenience store in our area. Area. Police say they're looking for two people they think stole the machine at the Carroll Fuels gas station at the corner of Hollowbird and Dundalk Avenues. ATM taken from just outside the cashier stand. You see where it was right there around 3.30 early in the morning on Tuesday. Police have not said whether this is connected to other recent thefts of ATMs in Baltimore City. Earlier this month, thieves used a van as a battering ram to get inside the 7-Eleven on Thames Street in Fells Point. About $5,000 was taken with that machine. Repairs in the store cost thousands more. No arrests have been made in connection with any of those cases. And a small bridge in Carroll County that washed away during a storm a few months ago. Now people who live nearby say the county is refusing to rebuild it. The bridge is along Trump Road north of Westminster. It was built before the Civil War. Well, back in June, it was destroyed by floodwaters. Work crews in Carroll County put together a makeshift bridge soon after, but people who use that bridge say it's not safe. They're trying to do everything they can to, to not do this repair. And meanwhile, somebody's going to get hurt or killed going over the edge of this thing. Not to mention if a, a house catches on fire or somebody needs an ambulance and it can't get there quick enough, somebody could die over this. Carroll County officials say they're researching whether it is the county, the state, or the federal government's responsibility to pay for a more permanent bridge. But people living in that area say they're ready to take the county to court if the bridge is not fixed. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Wednesday, everyone. On this Wednesday, we are tracking plenty of sunshine and also sweater weather as we go through the rest of today and the next couple of days. And then we do have the chance for some showers in the forecast as well, but not for today. The gust forecast will get up to about 15 to 20 miles an hour out of the north. So that's going to be more of a chilly flow as we go throughout the day. That cold front's passing through and high pressure will continue to build in as we go through the rest of today. Highs make it up to about 73 degrees. That is going to stay below average. Abundant sunshine as we head into Friday and more seasonal Christian by Saturday. Okay, Lynette, thanks very much and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long. For updates on top stories and breaking news and for news weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.